warning. Today is Monday, July 14th for the free video today. First stock we're looking at is Goldman Sachs GS. GS, if you recall, last Thursday I mentioned that since the market gapped lower right here, okay, last Thursday, market gap lower, all right, right into the gray action zone, right on that 200 exponential one, it actually opened up right there. And I was telling you that this could definitely be bought for Friday, which would have been right there, and so far, we did make a nice move on Friday, closing right in here about 164.67, and today we've gapped higher along with the overall market, and we're much higher. Okay, we're at one almost 167. So hope you took advantage of that. Again, this is a trade setup that that, that is good. You, you're really looking for you're, you're scanning the market, you're looking for ETFs and stocks that you know are able to pull back deep into logical support. Right in an overall market that is up, right? The overall market being right the S and P 500, the Russell, the Nasdaq, and of course the Dow. Right. So this is a stock that got kind of beat down into support, and now we're bouncing back up. Same thing for Facebook. If you recall last week, last Thursday, I mentioned that this could be bought right in here at about 65.22. Facebook FB. Again, we pull back from this high. We sold off nicely last Wednesday, I believe it was, right here on this day. We sold off in the gray action zone. Then we created an inside pattern. And then on Thursday, we created the engulfing pattern, right? We took out the prior bars high and low, closing right in here. So again, 65.22 was the place to be buying it with that cat catastrophic stop down in here. And again, we are up to 67.75, so another nice one right there. And then TNA actually set up nicely. We sold off nicely, okay? Um, much more than the overall market is in terms of the E-minis and the NASDAQ, right? So we sold off, deep pullback into the gray action zone again, right? We sold off, created an inside pattern on Thursday. And the buy is up through Friday's high for today, right? The high of Friday was 75.11, so 75.21 roughly is the buy. Yes, we opened up much higher, opened up at 77.08, and we've traded down. So we kind of gapped through that price. If you've been listening to my videos long enough, you know that I like the actual penetration up through highs or down through lows, which act is my trigger point, right? So the market sells down off of a high. We create one of these patterns, deep pullback into support. We look to buy up through that high. I like to see it trade up through it, not gap. We gapped here, and we've been trading lower. So that really isn't executed. Remember CNX, I was looking at CNX, Console Energy, last week on last Thursday's blog video. We were looking to buy it up through that high. We weren't able to do it Friday. All right? We traded down, lower high, lower low. But I still think this is setting up for a nice trade. A nice pullback down off the high. Yes, we're in the gray action zone. We're, we started to break through it, but we weren't able to sustain a move down through that low. And let's draw a white horizontal line. All right. Representing this pullback low, right, from this high. We bounced up to new highs. So this area should act as a support, which it did so far. So keep this on your watch list. I think this moves higher as well. Again, CNX. And then just one more real quick, NOW. I know I'm looking at it a lot today, but Monday morning, got to get ready, right? So the market's pulled back, pulled back deep. We had a nice sell-off. And then a lower high, lower low, and then an engulfing pattern here. See, so took out the high, took out the low. Look at where we supported right at the 200 exponential moving average, closed right in here. Technically, this is really a buy setup right in here where we're at right now, right? But the catastrophic stop needs to be below this level. So this is your R. This is your risk. So you're looking for at least a minimum movement to the upside if you were to take that trade, right? That's right. Equal. All right. Hope that helps. Have a profitable day, and I'll be back with you tomorrow. Bye for now.